Hi everyone! Today I will show you my attempt at 5D diamond painting. It's been something I wanted to try for a while. It looked very satisfying to me. So when I saw it's hobby week at my local supermarket and there were some diamond painting canvases, I thought it would be the perfect time for me to give it a go. My first impressions were very positive. This kit looked solid. All the necessary items were included, even small stuff like organizational baggies and number stickers these were way more useful than expected. Although I still managed to spill diamonds, mix diamonds, use the wrong colors of diamonds, you name it. But I guess it's all part of the fun. The glue layer was really on point here. It didn't go beyond where the diamonds were supposed to be placed. There were some tiny discrepancies um, of perhaps two millimeters on the top and the bottom part where the flowers were sticking out a little bit. But in the end, it wasn't a noticeable issue at all. I think the picture was well composed and it was easy to read. The print was really clear. So I didn't have to strain my eyes too much and that's really important with a project like this. This experience really encouraged me to experiment a little bit more. I ordered a couple of more diamond painting kits and as far as I have seen and not all of them are good quality. For one, the colors of the diamonds usually are way more dull and not so intense. On most of them it's really difficult to read the canvas. It's very easy to make mistakes and it's just very tiring for your eyes. So what I've learned is to really pay attention to the quality of these kits. So let me tell you more about this specific one. Another big difference was that this came already mounted on a frame, which is pretty neat looking. There were also hooks that came with this kit, so you can just easily hang it up on your wall when it is ready. That gets 10 out of 10 for convenience for me. These diamonds were really colorful. The colors were so vibrant and juicy really intense. It's definitely a lot of technical details to pay attention to when you are trying to pick the right kit for yourself. But enough about the technical side of it, let me tell you a little bit about how the experience was for me. And I can happily report that it was thoroughly enjoyable. Apart from the colorful and sparkly aspect, which I absolutely love, and you will see the results at the end, I took it out in the sun to show you how really beautiful it looks. But this activity was more more than just visually pleasing. It truly grabs your focus and you get immersed into the repetitive motion, which give you a sense of peacefulness. On the other hand, I can see how it can work the opposite for some people. It can certainly cause frustration as well. I do enjoy activities that require high attention to details, so that's probably why I did enjoy this one and why I have such a positive opinion about it. But keep in mind, it's just subjective and it depends on what you like to do as a hobby. Apart from the focus and attention to detail, this project gives you a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment because it's really fulfilling to complete the project, to put that last diamond in place. There is a lot of satisfaction to be gained from this experience, but at the same time, it lacks a bit of creativity for me. So I wouldn't be doing it as a separate hobby, but I will certainly use it as a break time activity or an exercise in keeping concentrated on one thing. Perhaps there's room for creative expression when you make your own patterns and I would like to explore that in the future as well. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more diamond painting projects on this channel. The only concern I have about diamond painting is that the materials used for it are mostly variations of plastic. So I'm not sure how environment friendly this hobby is, but a lot of hobbies involve plastic-based material, model building, remote controlled hobbies or 3D printing. So I would say as long as you use them responsibly, it should be fine. Hobbies are meant to bring joy and satisfaction and not environmental anxiety. So we gotta trust but verify they are produced sustainably as well. That's all the comments I had to share with you about diamond painting. Let me know if you have tried it yourself and whether you've liked it. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the video.
for the best part, which is seeing the Ready project in its full shining, sparkling glory. Of course, it's absolutely stunning when you take it out in the sun, but I can confirm that also indoors it's really enjoyable. I'm definitely going to hang it up and just use it as a motivational reminder for myself that just keep going. Small steps will make you finish great things. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. I would greatly appreciate it and see you next time. Take care. Bye.